Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday morning and I am off to an orthodontics appointment this morning, one of which is hopefully, probably not my last, but one of the last appointments because I've come to the end of my Invisalign treatment. So I'm so excited to have my attachments off and to just be, yeah, be finished with the process. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be doing today, whether it's just a, a check up to like 100% confirm that I'm done, whether they're removing my attachments today. I'm not entirely sure, um, but yeah, very nearly finished, which is wonderful. Um, I have got a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup on today. I will chat through, when I get home, I'll chat through, I'll chat through everything that I'm wearing, um, but I've got some really gorgeous new Charlotte Tilbury products to show you as well. So I will go through all of that when I get back home. And I have also got a very, very special friend to introduce you to that I am sure you guys are going to love as much as I do. He has stolen my heart. If you follow me on Instagram already, you will know exactly what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about. Um, but when we get home, we can introduce you and I can introduce you, but he is just an absolute dream. He is just, oh, an absolute dream. Anyway, I better get going, um, but I will chat to you when I'm done in the orthodontics. I've just got back and I've changed into a hoodie. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but appointment went well. I am pretty much, they're really happy with the progress. Like my bottom teeth, the difference in my bottom teeth from when I first got them done, from when I first had the Invisaligns to how they look now is such a difference. I will, when I'm completely finished, obviously I'll show you like the before and after pictures. Um, so you can see the difference, but my bottom teeth were so crammed in and they have straightened out so much. The only one that they're kind of a little bit, well, we're kind of a little bit unsure about is this one here, like the, the one next to my two big teeth. It's just ever so slightly pointing inwards. And it's whether or not I want to do another kind of like couple of months of trays to get that really straight or whether I'm thinking I've had enough and it's such a minor thing that I'll leave it. So I said to them, can I let them know by the end of the day? Like, can I give them a, a phone call later? Because I just wasn't sure, you know, and you don't want to make a decision on the spot. But it's just that on there is just ever so slightly. And I'm just thinking, is it worth faffing around or not? Um, but anyway, I don't know if you can notice I'm a little bit preoccupied, but this is little Raffi. <laughs> He's just had his lunch, so I don't know why I'm letting him lick my face. He, that's probably why his um, his little his little mouth looks a little bit grubby because he's just had lunch, haven't you? You've just had some food. I just love him so much already. We got him on Monday evening, and I mean, we are slightly exhausted at the moment. The nights haven't been the easiest. <laughs> if any of you have, have had a puppy before, you'll know that. Um, it's, yeah, there's quite a few, quite a few wake-ups in the night to let him out for a wee, but you are more than worth it, aren't you? Oh, he's just absolutely wonderful. He is a multi-poo, so he's a cross between a Maltese and a toy poodle. His dad is a toy poodle and his mum is a Maltese. And he is just like the softest, cuddliest little teddy bear. I could possibly ever have wished for. And his temperament, I know puppies are sweet anyway, but his temperament is just so lovely. He is so cuddly. He just wants to be on me 24 seven. Either, like this morning I had him, let me show you. I had him like tucked up like this. <laughs> tucked up like this while I was getting ready. And he's just happy as Larry. Like the closer the better for him. But I mean, look at that little face. He's just wonderful. Wonderful. He's nine weeks tomorrow. So we got him, he was eight weeks on Saturday. He was born on Christmas Eve. Little Christmas baby. So now we're gonna have to celebrate his birthday on Christmas Eve every year. But he's just, just absolutely wonderful. And 
We are so in love already. Come on then, out you come. Honestly, he is so like lollopy. He just literally flops around when he's sleepy. He just, he just wants to like lollop any way he can. He's either like a baby like this, or he's like up on my shoulder, or he's round the back of my neck, or he's like, the closer he can be, the better. And he just always just wants to like, just nap. He's just, yeah. You can tell that I'm smitten, can't you? <laughs> but I'm gonna pop him up my top. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but because my top's tight underneath, it just holds him in place. And he seems quite content like that. Um, so, as I mentioned before, I am wearing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup this morning. And I did film me applying my makeup. So as I chat through what I'm wearing, I will insert like cutaways one side or the other. Um, so you can see each product that I'm applying. Most of them I've shown you before. Most of them I've been using for at least a year. Um, but there are some new products as well that I wanted to show you. So I started off with Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. If you haven't tried this before, it is just a beautiful moisturiser and a really, really lovely base for your makeup as well. It's quite thick, but if you just warm it up, it just, it applies really lovely and gives your skin such a lovely, smooth base. So I popped that on first and then I followed that with um, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in shade 5 tan. Now this is a little bit too dark for me in the winter at the moment, slightly, uh, but once it's all buffed in, it gives a really, really lovely glow um, and kind of blends out really nicely, as you'll see from the cutaways, it kind of like just blends out nice and gives a nice, again, a nice base for my foundation to sit on top of and just gives me that little bit of colour that I need at the moment when my skin's looking a little bit pasty. Um, next up, my foundation, which you can see I have used to the final pump. I think I've got about two or three pumps left in there. Um, this is the Charlotte Beautiful Skin Foundation. In fact, this has lasted me so long. I use this, I think this is shade six neutral, but I will leave all of the shades that I'm wearing linked below next to, next to each link. Um, but this is just the most stunning foundation. It's, it's an absolute favorite of mine. It just leaves my skin looking so glowy and dewy and fresh um it's buildable it's kind of like a i'd say it's like a light to medium coverage but it is really buildable and it just looks like your skin but better which is definitely the the aim for me um so yeah really really love that foundation I highly recommend that i've recommended that to so many people um definitely recommend giving that a go and then on top of that, I went in with some concealer. So I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Again, a really, really lovely concealer. This is shade 6.5 medium. Pop this under my eyes, around my nose, and a tiny bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead, I think. And then after that, I'm trying to remember what order I did it in because I do, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I chop and change with my makeup and I put on like my blusher before my bronzer or my bronzer. No, usually I go bronzer first, but you know, sometimes you just, chop and change a little bit um, but bronzer is a long standing favorite of mine this is the beautiful skin sunkissed sun -kissed glow bronzer and i have had this since basically since it was released so i think maybe six months maybe maybe a bit longer um, i've got this in shade two medium and i adore it it's such a lovely bronzer it just blends out beautifully it's the perfect shade for me and just yeah really really lovely cream bronzer um i do also have this one which i used as an eyeshadow this is the powder bronzer but i'll come to that in a minute the blusher this is a new release from charlotte tilbury this is their pillow talk matte blush wand and do you know what i got this like i got a pr package from Charlotte Tilbury with four shades and when i saw this i thought no that's not really it's a little bit mauve i thought it looked a little bit not really my color um but when i tried this out this morning oh my goodness it's like the perfect it just blends out beautifully and gives a really like lovely natural blush color it's just a really flattering tone I feel like it would suit lots of skin tones and it yeah it blends out beautifully it's not too heavy it's got a nice like slightly i know it says matte but i don't feel like it dries 
really matte. I feel like it almost had a slightly dewy, not dewy finish to it, but it's not like chalky matte. Don't be put off by that. I think all that means is, well, to me anyway, it kind of feels like it's not um, a shimmery one like the Pillow Talk highlighter, which I also popped on as well. Uh, this is the Beauty Light Wand highlight, easy highlighter illuminator. And obviously this is super shimmery, whereas this one isn't shimmery. So it's not like chalky, it's not like matte, like dry matte. It's just not shimmery. That's how I see it anyway. And just a really beautiful shade as well. Blends out gorgeous. So um, yeah, pop that on and then I pop this one over the top. And then, I think I might have gone in with some powder next, um, but I have raved about this so many times. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and it is beautiful, so lightweight. Again, you can see, I feel like all of these products, you can see how much I've used all of them. I just genuinely love everything that I use from Charlotte Tilbury. Just, I don't know, they're just, hit the nail on the head every time and this powder is stunning and then i think oh like i said for eyeshadow i use a little bit of this just on a fluffy eyeshadow brush on my lids and a tiny bit underneath my eyes as well and this is the charlotte tilbury bronzer again i have used this so much in fact so much so that i can't actually see what shade it is um i think this is medium as well oh there you go three shade three my mascara is also charlotte tilbury it's the pillow talk push up lashes mascara but i haven't got it here for some reason but i think i did film a little clip of it when i was applying it um but again great mascara really volumizing lengthening nice and black as well like really black black and didn't transfer like hasn't transferred onto my eyelids at all um although i think when i applied it i did get a little bit on my eyelid but the good trick for that is leave it to dry, then use a dry cotton bud and just kind of like wipe, rub it away and it flakes away really easily. Um, he just wriggled out to have a little drink. Um, but the lip combo that I'm wearing are all from the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk range. So starting off with the lip liner, this is the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat in the shade 2 medium. This is just the perfect nude lip liner. It is such a great tone, like such a great shade. It applies really nicely, it's really creamy. It lasts really well. It's just a great nude lip liner. And again, I've gone through, I think this is my third one of these maybe. Um, and yeah, really, really great lip liner, but I also love Super Size Me as well. If you'd like a slightly, slightly darker than this, I'd say it is. Um, but yeah, Charlotte Tilbury um, Super Size Me lip liner is also stunning. And then over the top, I've got on the old classic Pillow Talk lipstick. I feel like so many people rave about this lipstick. It's just the perfect nude lipstick. It isn't too peach, it isn't too pink, it isn't too brown. I mean, my hands are very pale at the moment, so it's showing up slightly, slightly darker, I'd say, on my hand. <laughs> Don't really need to fake tan. Um, but it's just a really beautiful, flattering nude. And again, I feel like this is probably my third one of these I've gone through. Um, yeah, so many people rave about this lipstick. And then over the top of it, I have got on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Luster. And this is a really beautiful lip gloss. So I'm just gonna pop on a little bit more over the top of my lipstick. Um, but, thing I love about this is that it just looks so gorgeous on its own as well because it's so pigmented so just this on its own or this with the lip liner gives such a lovely color I mean look that's just the tiniest little dab and it's super super pigmented the perfect nude shade again and a really really beautiful lips lip gloss it doesn't feel too sticky it feels just really comfortable on the lips and yeah really beautiful and then I went in with a little bit of powder blush over the top. This is the Pillow Talk blush in the shade Cheek to Chic. And again, such a pretty peachy pinky tone. Really, really lovely tone. And then it's got the slight highlighter in the middle. So you can add, you can kind of swirl around the edge if you prefer it to be a little bit more peachy. Or you can kind of swirl your brush all over for a little bit more of a lighter highlight tone as well. Um, so I just popped a little bit of that over the top, which gave a really, really pretty finish. 
Um, and then I also popped a little bit of this highlight on as well. And this is another new release. I've had this for maybe a month now, um, but this is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in the shade Gilded Glow. And it is a really, really pretty highlighter. And the shade of this is so lovely as well because it's, some highlighters I find can be a little bit too cool or a little bit too white toned and they kind of look a bit too much, especially for during the day. Whereas this is like a really, really warm, um, just a subtle warm glow. So pop that highlighter over the top. I did use a little bit of this eyeliner. This is the Exaggerize Liner Duo. And obviously it's got a light, light side and a dark side as well. And I just popped a little bit of this into the inner corners of my eyes, just a tiny bit, but I feel like you could really pop a bit more in it. I think it would even look nice in your waterline as well. And I think that is everything that I've got on my face now. The only other product that I wanted to quickly talk to you about, which is a new release from Charlotte Tilbury, is the Pillow Talk Hypnotizing Pop Shot in the shade Pillow Talk Diamonds. And this is stunning. You will have seen me apply this morning, but I did just wipe it off with a cotton pad, pad after, just because I was going to the orthodontics and I thought turning out with like really sparkly eyeshadow might be a bit too much. Um, but this for an evening is just beautiful. And let me just show you it when I swatch it with my finger. Like the color, like the shimmer of this is so pretty. I feel like it applies even better with your finger than it does with a brush because it's got such a gorgeous shimmer to it. It's one of those ones that you can just sort of rub, like pat on with your finger and it is so stunning, so shimmery and just beautiful. I did, I think I applied it with a, with a brush first of all when I was applying it just to put a little bit on it, gave a really lovely subtle sparkle, but obviously you can really kind of pla uh, pat it on with your finger or with like a flat eyeshadow brush if you wanted to really kind of pack it on and get that shimmery look. I also think the packaging is beautiful, really gorgeous, rose gold, with the tiny little pink crystals on there as well. And this would also work perfectly with, I've got like a little um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk quad eyeshadow with all like really beautiful like pinky mauve tones. And I feel like doing like a smoky eye with those colors and then just patting a little bit of that into the center or into the corner of my eyes would be beautiful. So I'm definitely going to try this. Next time I'm going out of an evening, I'm definitely gonna pop a little bit of that on as well. Obviously, all of the products I used will be linked below in the description box. And like I said before, I will pop the shade that I'm wearing next to each link as well. But if you do have any questions about anything that I've used at all, um, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Anyway, this little pickle is um, wanting to get back up again. You don't like being left alone for long, do you? Um, he certainly doesn't like being put in his crate either during the day. It's, a, it's, an, it's an absolute no-go, isn't it? It's an absolute no-go. But if any of you have got any tips or advice, I am more than happy to hear. So do leave a comment below if you've just, yeah, if you've got any tips or advice for little puppies, I would love to hear. But he is just the absolute dream. Look at that face. Look at that little face. So, Raffi is about to have his first shower, bath. His first little proper wash. Um, so, I think he'll be fine. He's chilled about everything else. I think he'll be fine in the bath. I see. Did you get his soup soap? Soup soap, yes. We've got to get him wet first, apparently. And then... Good boy. Good boy. Oh, is that nice? Is that nice? I can't really see how that is. Is that nice? Is that nice? Oh, baby. It's nice and warm, isn't it? And then if I get him up on here, get some shampoo. Oh, look at his little pudding. Uh, get a nice towel. Get 
towel. Oh, baby. Good boy. Good boy. Huh? No, get a nice, uh, get an older one. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, can you get my phone and take a little picture of him while he's all wet? It's alright. Oh, baby. He's really posing. Oh. oh, baby. Let me get you dry. There we go. Is that nice? Nearly done, baby. Nearly done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's nice, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Nearly done. Nearly done. And then what about their faces? Uh, I don't really know. Maybe you want to give it a maybe just give them a little splash and a wash without just your oil. Good boy. Good boy. Go straight to a chill, Robert. Good boy. You're getting his gunky eye, don't you? Good boy. Hold him. Hey, it's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Did you get out now? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, no, I think I just need... Can you grab me a bit of cotton wool? Where is it? In, um, either in my dressing room or in the bar, on, in our ensuite. You don't want to cotton, a little cotton. Anything, even a, a microfiber cloth will be fine. In here. Good boy. Let's get your eyes clean. Oh, baby boy, look at you. Nearly done. Nearly oh, you're done. tiny, isn't he? <laughs> Thank you. A little cotton bud, if you want. Nearly done now, baby. Good boy. Nearly done. Good boy. You're going to get so much love and oh, treats. Oh, that's perfect. Look at oh, his eyes. A bit wet. Good boy. Clever boy. Right, let's get him one more dunk for some clean, fresh water. That's it. Clever boy. Should I rinse him, do you think? Or do you think that's most of it's rinsed up? Yeah, that'd be alright, mate. Good boy! Right, if you lay that down. Where? Do it here, just where I was? Yeah, it's all so No, good, no, right? there. Do you come give him straight to me? Right? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to Daddy. Look at you. You look all cold. New York. Good boy. Good boy. Just dried him off with the hair dryer because he was freezing, even though it was warm water. He was just a little bit chilly, so we've dried him off gently with the hairdryer. And now I've just put, popped him underneath my t-shirt and then I've got like a little hot water bottle just filled, filled with warm tap water just to put near him and try and warm him up a little bit. And he's just stopped shaking and he's having a little treat. You are such a good boy, weren't you? You didn't moan at all. He's so sweet. You are such a clever boy. Nice. You warm in there. Good boy. Yeah, he's back to his normal self now. Yeah. Yeah, he's happy. Going for my necklaces again. He keeps going for my necklaces. Um, I've got on like this little coin one, and he loves it. And he kind of plays with it, and then pounces on it, and thinks it's a game. So I mean, I do try and stop him, but I can't say no to you, can I? Look, who's that? Who's that? Are you all clean? Are you a little clean beam? 
Oh, good boy. You can have a little nap. Shh. Looks like he's wearing my hoodie. <laughs> you look like you're wearing my hoodie. He's all dry and fluffy now, all warm and clean. And Lou is just teaching me. We bought some balls this afternoon. And I didn't think he'd be interested in them, but Lou's just playing fetch with him. <laughs> and he keeps slipping on the floor as well. He found something. Has he got something? Where's he gone? Raffi! Hey, Go on then. Go get it. I'm gonna come down. Oh. <laughs> Go on then, go get your ball. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> Clever boy. Not so far, just me. Ready? Ready? Raff. <laughs> Ready? No, just wants to chew the corner of his bed. <laughs> now <take> away. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> it literally blends into him. Good boy. And you smell all clean and dry and warm as well. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Raff, Raffy, come here, Raffy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you found my toggle. <laughs> you found my toggle instead. <laughs>